making my big block of soap, which has 200 ounces of oil. Um, it's a huge block of soap, and I make lots of bars, um, or I get lots of bars out of it when I make a big block of soap uh, like this, and that's my preferred way of making it. Now I've got my hard oils, my butters, and my liquid oil all in the big uh, bowl here. I'm going to be adding in some kaolin clay. I'm going to blend this in. I'm going to add in my lye water solution. And we'll get started. Um, I'm going to be making some uh, volcano soap, which is smells really, really good. I have to work fast with this soap. It, it, it's a very good seller for us. And when I cut it, it's going to come out beautiful because it will be all different colors. Okay, so I'm going to speed the video up and I'm gonna go ahead and add my live water solution in the mix. In my individual buckets and I'm going to uh, break this down into my different colors. I'll be right back when I get everything broken down and ready to pour. Okay guys, this is difficult because it's a lot of colors. So I'm going to have to work very quickly. My soap is starting to get thick already. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this mixed in my hand. I'll speed the video up. Because She was a booger. So I'm not gonna stick a spatula in there to further swirl the inside. I'm leaving the inside exactly how it was put into the mold. Now as for this, do you see how thick it is? I'm just gonna take my chopstick and run it around on the top a little bit. It's really even too thick to do that. I'm not going to do too much because it's so thick. I will take it and bang it down back on the floor and get some more, um, any air that I create, any air bubbles uh, the, that I create doing this. Oh, well, um, I think it will be pretty like that anyway. So we're going to see how it comes out. That was a lot of colors to make <laughs> in for a big box of soap. And I'm going to spray this down with alcohol, put it to bed, and we'll come back in just a moment. We'll slice it up. See you in just a minute. Okay, guys. So, in the first video clip you saw us slicing the big block into logs, and now we're going to put, uh, now we're going to slice the logs into bars. Um, 
So I'm gonna speed up the video. I have to cut a lot of this out because it's so much. It's so many slices. It's gonna make about 50 bars. I'll show you a few, and I'll also post some pictures at the end. Um, I love how the soap came out. We love how the color came out in the soap. I like that you just never know what bar is gonna have what color. We've always done this soap colorful. And this time I just decided to make a tall bar out of it instead of a um, wider bar. And I really love it. Uh, these soaps will be available in July on our website or our Etsy store, either one. And this one we didn't swirl. If you, if you remember watching the video, we just, the, the soap was setting up so fast. But we love it. I'm glad how it came out. Um, wouldn't change a thing on it. Like I said, I didn't swirl it. I just pretty much did a color swap, uh, color plop. <laughs> I plopped the, plopped the colors in and all right. So I'm gonna continue to slice these up and I'll post some pictures at the end of this video. And I sure do appreciate each and everybody watching the videos more than you'll ever know. You're so much appreciated. Thank y'all for watching and y'all have a great and wonderful day.